So it looks like Apple has fixed the issue with their activation server and now the SAM unlock no longer works. Although that's not an official word from anyone, that is what I'm finding from talking to ones and from trying it for myself. I've actually tried this, I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna go through and try the SAM unlock and show you that this indeed is not working for me like it was at first. So first of all, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and we're gonna delete that lockdown folder just to prove that we don't have anything, or actually it's already de deleted, as you can see there, there's nothing out there, no activation ticket folder, so we're good to go in that regard. Now all we need to do is just go ahead and pop in our unofficial SIM, I'm using the uh, T-Mobile SIM of course, so I'll pop that in there. You can see it says no SIM in the upper left hand corner, now it says no service. All right, and we'll wait a little bit, and it's still gonna say searching, it's not gonna work, it's just, not gonna allow me on T-Mobile's network right now. Now if I open up Sam Prefs, you'll see there, this is a default uh, setup for Sam Prefs. I'll hit activation, it looks like it's gonna work like normal, but watch, wait, and see. This is gonna take a while. Um, and this is normally where you would actually be able to unlock normally. But as you can see, looks like Apple has changed something, they fixed something, whatever vulnerability was in their activation server, that is no longer the case, it appears. So we'll give it a few more seconds. And then eventually, here in a, in a second, I'm gonna show you how, if you backed up your activation ticket, I'll show you how to restore that so you can unlock again. If you, hopefully you have those backed up if you use this tool when it was working. Okay, you see that error, activation reports error, activation info rejected, so yeah, looks like Apple has closed this little hole here. You're not gonna be able to use this again, at least for the time being. It was nice while it lasted, I'll, I'll tell you that. So we're gonna try activation again. It'll respring. And it looks like it wants to work, but no, it just doesn't work. So I'll try to make a phone call here and nothing. Yeah, call failed. So how do you go about restoring your activation ticket if you were smart enough to back them up? Or if you were proactive enough, I should say, to back them up? Well. I have went ahead and put my activation ticket on Dropbox, as you can see here. Um, that is what I recommend you do. I told you to email it to yourself in the, in the uh, backup uh, tutorial, but just go ahead and throw it on Dropbox. You can see here my lockdown-tmobile.zip. So that is the activation ticket folder that contains all the good stuff. So what we're gonna do is just open this in iFile using Dropbox and use the unarchiver. So you should see unarchiver, tap that. It'll unarchive or extract all the contents of that folder. And then you see it here, the lockdown with the activation records and all that. So tap edit in the upper right hand corner, select the lockdown folder, and then hit the little clipboard button there in the bottom right hand corner, copy link, and then tap done. Then we're gonna go all the way back out to our var and then go to root. So let's find root there. There we are. And then go to library. And now we wanna paste it. Well, first of all, we wanna delete the original lockdown folder. So delete that, if, it, if you have it there, delete the lockdown folder. Now we wanna paste the new lockdown folder or the backed up lockdown folder that contains all of our activation records from T-Mobile. So that's all you do there. That's super simple, isn't it? Now what we need to do, what I recommend you do at least, is to go to user, library, and go to preferences. And this search for SAM under preferences to make sure the SAM plist file is no longer there. Uh, I think I deleted mine, yes. If you have the SAM plist file, you can delete that as well. That'll just set SAM back to defaults, just in case you have anything in there that could be configured that wouldn't mess anything up. So just keep that in mind. Not really a big deal, you probably won't need to do that, so yeah. Now just go ahead and power down your device. And now we're gonna let it come back up. And if you give it a few seconds, it looks like it may not work again, but it will. And you don't need to go into SAM or anything like that. All you do is boot back up. It'll say searching for a while. And then you should see your carrier name eventually. Any day now. There we go. So T-Mobile, just like that. Courtesy of our backed up lockdown folder that contains our activation record. Let's listen in to our friends at T-Mobile. Probably help if I turn the volume up a little bit there. Oh, and the speakerphone as well. T-Mobile, America's largest 4G network. So there you go, folks. That is the reason why everyone suggested that you back up your activation tickets using that lockdown folder. Make sure if you're unlocked now, 
using the SAM tool, go ahead and back those up because you can no longer unlock going forward using that tool, at least for the time being. So highly recommend that you do that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Was this easy enough for you? This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.